Thank you for joining me today. This is Paper Play with Julie Kay, and today I have a Valentine loaded envelope in a heart shape to share with you. I'm really excited to share with you guys today a project that I just finished, and I created this project for a Facebook group called Loaded Envelope Galore. And I joined a swap, and we were to create a heart shaped loaded envelope with a Valentine's Day theme and so this is what I created and as part of the requirements um, we were to of course create a heart loaded envelope it needed to have at least five embellishments on it um, we had to have a minimum of two pockets also a small envelope or bag that contains some sort of um, stickers or tags or die cuts something of that order we were also to include two wands that we created, one being shorter and another longer one. We were also to have an altered clothespin, an altered paper clip, a jumbo tag, and also three smaller tags. The jumbo tag and the three smaller tags were to include at least three embellishments on them. We were to also include a three by four photo frame that was supposed to be decorated and it was supposed to show or capture love or Valentine's Day with a couple or romance kind of theme to it and overall we had to make sure that we had five Valentine's Day images within our project and so this is my overall project and I just wanted to share it with you guys and um, I'm going to go over each thing in the, the loaded envelope in just a minute. Um, I'm just going to show you guys a couple views of it first. So for this project we were encouraged to watch a video by Ruth Burr here on YouTube where she created a heart shaped pocket envelope. We didn't have to go with her version but it was just a good um, tutorial and so I did try and create Ruth's um, heart shaped um, envelope and Hers looks something like this, where after you take a 12 by 12 piece of paper and you fold it up. And so it looks like that. It's really super cute. And what I decided is because I have a tendency to over embellish everything that I put into my loaded envelopes, I started off with her base template right here. And then I just traced it again on another um, scrap piece of paper. And once I did that, I created two pieces like this, and I decided to add a gusset on each of the sides and then also a base on the bottom so that I could fill my envelope full. And so if I turn it around here, you can see um, the gusset and it's overflowing because I have so much stuff in there on this, this side. There's the pocket on the front. And then of course the main pocket and then I also created a pocket on the back and decorated the back. And so that's what I came up with. And then of course still here in the frame is the photo that I created. The first item that I'd like to talk about that was part of the swap is this um, 3x5 frame that I created. And I did end up using a um, vintage frame. It was a gold frame that I had. Um, I did try and go out and look at our local store here for a new frame and I just didn't like what I saw so I just took an old gold frame from my stash and I did gesso it with white and then I um, painted over that with some pink um, acrylic paint just to make it look a little shabby. And then you can see on the inside there's part of the frame even right here um, which I thought was kind of a neat um, detail to that frame. So I did add some pearl trim on the inside of the frame and then also some pearl trim on the outside of the frame that's pink and the inside one is white and underneath this pink trim I did also add lace around the edges. Up in the top corner I did um, attach this little sticker that says Amore and added the little flat back heart up at the top and then in the corner I added this flower spray and I started that with um, 
There's some flower trim underneath, and then I added wild orchid craft flowers. And then also these little um, stamens, which you can find in the wedding sections of like Hobby Lobby. And so I added those also. And then the image behind the glass is an image from Graphic 45 paper collection. And it was, um, I can't remember what the name of the collection was. Um, let's see if I still have it sitting here. The name of the paper collection that I used was Mon Amour, Mon Amour um, from Graphic 45. And so that is the frame that I completed for the project. So hopefully my partner will like it. Here is the loaded envelope again, and I will go ahead and pull everything out so that you can see um, what I included inside of this loaded envelope. First thing, again, we were to create a shorter wand. So this is my shorter wand or my smaller wand. And again, I just used a paper straw with some Valentine's Day hearts on it. And I added some eyelash trim to it. I did use a die cut in the back side. I do like my back sides to be clean. So I did um, put a die cut behind the rosette. I did create a rosette. And I added some flower trim on top of that, a little circle punch, and then two hearts. I really like how that one turned out. Lots of layering, but um, it was pretty easy to put together. And let's see, also in this, this loaded envelope, I do have a whole bunch of these little picks. And so I'm just gonna pull those all out right now just because they're easy. And you can just buy these picks. Um, I believe I picked these ones up at, at Walmart. I just think they add a nice little addition um, and extra embellishments to the, the loaded envelope. So I did, did include five of those in this loaded envelope. I also added um, a couple drink um, swizzle sticks or stir sticks. And I purchased these last year at Target in the dollar spot. Um, this one just says Happy Valentine's Day and it's in red. And then this one says love on it and it's in pink with there's a little bit of um, silver glitter inside of that one. But I think both are really super cute. And again, it just adds a little extra embellishment to the overall um, presentation of the loaded envelope. And then we were to create a jumbo tag and three tags. So here is my jumbo tag back here that I created. And again, we were to make sure that we added three elements to it or three embellishments. And of course I did way more than that, but I did start off the top. Um, I did use a die cut and this die cut is from Diamond Dies. And for my jumbo tags, I always like to make them sturdy. So I did first cut it out with chipboard and then I layered um, paper on both sides of the chipboard. So that looks nice on both sides. And then I layered another piece of tag um, with the script writing on it over that. And then I have a little heart doily. Um, you can't really tell that it's a heart, um, but it is heart shaped, the pink one. I also added um, three little stickers right here that are heart shaped. And at the top I added the die cut that says sweet and I did cut that out two or three times um, just to have it stick up a little bit, but I really like how that turned out. And then for my main image, again, it is from that Graphic 45 paper collection, Mon Amour. And I layered that up on a piece of black cardstock and then I framed it out with flat back pearl trim at the bottom of it, I did add a banner piece um, that I die cut out, and then I also die cut out the word love. In the corner there, again, I started it off with um, some flower trim, or fl kind of like a little flower applique. I added some of these black stamens that I purchased from Wild Orchid Crafts quite a while ago. And then I added three Wild Orchid Craft flowers. And then at the base of my tag, I added some more flat back pearls and also some lace trim. So I, I more than met the requirement of three embellishments. And then I also added at the top um, this lace and there was an eyelet also up there just to finish it off and make it look, look neat, I guess. Then my three little bit smaller tags, I'm um, using the same diamond die tag die. 
I kind of embellished the same, um, layering up each of the Graphic 45 images onto cardstock, and then I edged them all with that flat back pearl trim. I added some smaller wild orchid craft flowers in the corner, and then each of them have a heart embellishment on them. And then I also have an eyelet at the top, and then for these I chose for my trim to use eyelash trim. I just love the look of eyelash trim, so you see that in a lot of my projects. But so there's that one up close. The one tag that I had in the middle, um, again, and just another um, Graphic 45 image that says Love Notes. And this one I chose to add um, on the three corners that didn't have the Wild Orchid Crafts flowers, I added the heart embellishments on that one. And then the last one, um, I used this lovely vintage lady, and this one says forever and always, and I did it exactly the same. So here's the, the male and the female image. Um, kind of, I just reversed them. I had flowers on this side and flowers on the left side of him. So I like how both of those turned out. And then my other two wands, again, we, were only to we only had to create two wands, and I showed you the smaller one that I created right here. But I was having fun creating wands, so I did create a total of three, even though the requirement was only two. So here was one of them that I created. Again, I used some die cuts from my stash for my base. And this one is a Spellbinders die. I created another rosette. And again, I layered another Spellbinders die, um, a circle, and I added the sticker that says Amore on it. And I added this little cute ribbon down here, and I think this is either a memory box or a poppy stamp um, die. I can't remember which. And then I added um, the little heart flat back um, pearl in the middle. And for this one, I chose to use a straw that was pink and gray and white. And I added eyelash trim and also a little bit of beads hanging from it. I just like the look of that. Um, on my wands just to be able to have something hanging down from them. Whether it's ribbon or lace or eyelash trim or the beads, um, I just think it gives a little extra nice look to it. And I also added eyelash trim behind that sticker up there. And so here's my other wand and this one is quite large. I do have a punch. I think it's from We Are Memory Keepers, but I'm not sure um, that I punched um, this one out with. And um, for this main envelope, I did use paper either from Graphic 45 or else I do ha did use some also some paper from Cartabella. Um, so I used both those papers in here. So this one was pretty much done the same way. Again, I have a base from the Spellbinders. Again, I just like to hide everything that I do and where I glue my straw and um, eyelash trim in underneath there. So I just like the clean look on the back side. Created the rosette and again I punched out the scallop circle back here. Um, it's actually a die cut from Spellbinders and behind that there is some red eyelash trim. And then another Spellbinders die, um, a circle die, and then I punched out um, one of the couple images from the Graphic 45 paper. On top of this, I added the word sweet with a die. And then down here, again, that same ribbon that I had shown you on the previous wand with a flat back um, heart shape pearl in the middle. And then this one I chose again to add eyelash trim and the pearls hanging from it. Inside, I included, we were to create um, an altered clothes pin and it just had to be one and it was supposed to be medium size so I took in my clothes pin stash I had the like longer ones that are like normal clothes pin size I had this size and then I had some that were really small so I just decided that since there weren't any measurement requirements for the medium size it just said medium size I chose to use this for my altered um, clothes pin and so on this, what I started off with, I started off with a white clothespin. I layered on a piece of scrap paper of that Cartabella paper. I added some rickrack over that, and then I added the flat back um, heart pearls on top of that. And I created three for my partner. 
And then I bagged them in this little um, bag. And at the top, I just used some of my scraps and punched out another um, flag or banner piece. I punched out the word, listen to your heart. And I just typed that on the computer and added another flat back heart pearl on that. So those are my altered clothes pins. We are also to do um, paper clips. And so here's the paper clips that I created. Uh, sorry for the glare, but I already packaged everything. And so I did create three. The one in the middle, I just layered up some die cuts and some um, punched out pieces. There's some eyelash trim on it. I do have the little sentiment that says love you on it. And then I layered um, two hearts on top of that one, kind of a cloth heart. And then this is a little bit um, harder heart. Um, it almost feels kind of like a button, but it's not. And I picked those ones up, I believe, at Hobby Lobby. And then on the two on the sides, these ones I just created with those little heart embellishments that I bought at Hobby Lobby. And I just glued them back to back. So they are clean on the back side. And again, I added a bag topper to this one. And um, I just used some scrap Valentine's Day paper in my stash. And then also some scrap um, embellishments that I had from Happy Mail. Um, so I just was using up some of that stuff. Um, but I really like how that one turned out. I also decided to create, um, I was having fun just playing with some of my tag dies and using up some of my little die cuts I had in my stash and some stuff for my Happy Mail. So I did create another four tags for my partner. And so, again, I already packaged them up, but I did add a bag topper so you can see all the little elements that I added there. And then my, here's my little tags that I created. And so there's two on here on this side. And then on the back side, there's two more. They're all very similar, um, just little, little slight variations with the little die cuts and scrap pieces that I had from my collection. But um, I did include those also. And let's see, I included, um, these are some bottle cap um embellishments that I had purchased quite a while ago. I almost used them on my actual project, but I decided to gift them to my swap partner instead. And again, I added um, a, a treat topper, a bag topper, um, just using miscellaneous pieces from my Valentine's Day stash. I did add um, some trim, some pink um, rayon ribbon. And so again, I just added a little topper to it. I just think that adds a little something to the loaded envelope when people add big toppers to things. I added the sheet of stickers, and I think I purchased these either at Michael's or Hobby Lobby, I'm not sure. But I thought they were really cute. And then again, um, a big topper using pieces from my stash. I added some vellum sentiments. Um, and I there's one, two, three, there's five, five sheets in there. Um, and they all are, you know, sentiments that say love or XOXO. So kind of Valentine's Day themed, but I don't think there is anything specifically that says Valentine's Day, but they are like love sentiments on there. And again, I added a little bag topper and used some of my um, little die cuts that I had from my stash. Um, I also added a set of blank craft cards that have glitter lining on the envelopes and those I think I picked up last year at Target in the dollar spot. Um, so I added those um, just so my partner can create some cards if she wanted and again I just added um, a bag topper to it. And I guess there's one more item in there, but I'll let my partner um, be surprised by that one just in case she happens to watch this video beforehand. So now you can kind of see the front of my envelope, and I'll go over that in a second here. Um, but I'll show you the back side. Um, again, I created a pocket on the back side. And again, I just layered up a sticker that said love, a die cut heart, and another heart embellishment, and then some more stickers right here. I added some trim, and then also... Um, I had some of these little heart-shaped gems that I glued on on top of that trim. And inside this pocket, I created some more tags. Again, I was just playing with some of my different um, 
tag die cuts that I have. And so these three are all the same, but just different color paper. Um, so I'm including those for my swap partner. And then one of the last requirements was we were supposed to include a little envelope with a couple treats inside of it. And so I did create this envelope from a Spellbinders die that I have. I think it's really pretty. And then on the front, I just added a die cut and the word hugs. And so I will um, leave that for my partner to open. And then I also had a smaller um, envelope die. So I went ahead and cut that out too. And I put a couple little items in there. I didn't add anything to that one. And so now you can see the whole back side without anything in it. I added XO and then also the little die cut um, from the Graphic 45 paper and the little heart embellishment. And then on the front side, you can also see what it looks like now. Up on top, I added the lace and then there's pearl trim and then also the heart embellishment. And there's a couple little heart embellishments right there. Uh, and these are all wild orchid craft flowers. I did choose to roll down my and make the collar right here in the opening. And then here's my little pocket at the bottom. And down here I chose to paint a frame that I had and I painted it black. And again, I used an image from Graphic 45 um, Mona Moore paper to put behind there. I embellished the frame up with a little bit with some of these flat back pearls. And I added a banner piece along with the word love and I cut that out twice. I want cut it out first in black and I decided it didn't look very nice, so then I layered um, the word lo love over it again with white um, cardstock, and I liked that better. And again, I created gussets on the side of my loaded envelope, um, just so I could fill it up, and that's kind of what it looks like on the inside there. So that is my um, completed loaded envelope. Um, thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, please don't forget to leave a comment, and of course, if you aren't subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button um, so you don't miss any future tutorials or project shares. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful, crafty day.